let's look at how to use the task recorder that comes with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. It only comes with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. It is not found in any other Dynamics 365 modules. Task recorder is under the gear icon and task recorder right here. It can be used to create training documentation, business process documentation. However, it is mainly used for user acceptance testing. I'll click on create a recording, give the recording a name. I'll be recording how to create a customer, so that's what I named it. I'll click on start. As you can see on the top, the create a customer bar has appeared here now. This is the task recorder bar. Now I'll go ahead and start clicking and entering things that I want. I'll click on all customers. From here, I'll click on new. As you can see on the task recorder, I have click all customers and click new automatically added here. I'll fill in the required fields. Click on name drop down. Pick a name. Click on select. So all these things are being placed here as I do them. I'll click on customer group. Choose a group. And since there are no other fields that are required, I'll click on save. As you can see, all the steps have gotten recorded here. And then I'm going to click on stop. Now the options that I have are I can save this to the PC as a file. I can save it to lifecycle services, which has to be set up. If I set them up, then a library of help items can be available there. I can export this as a Word document. I can also save this as a developer recording and send it to a developer if I'm seeing an issue as a user so they can diagnose the issue after looking at my steps. I'll show how to export as a Word document. So Word document got downloaded right here. I'll click on it to open it up. Here's a Word document. Now if you look at it, it has the exact steps that I was looking at in the task recorder. It is editable, so you could go ahead and potentially add screenshots or whatever else you wanted directly in this documentation. I'm gonna go ahead and close it now. So the other thing that I can do is save this to PC. I'll click on that. It has now been saved. I can pull this up at any point in time if I wanted to edit this recording or I want to play it. Let's go ahead and try it. I'll go to the home page over here. Go to return to main menu. I'm going to play a recording as a guide. Open it from my PC. Browse. I'll choose a file, create a customer. It's the .axtr extension. Open. It loads the task guide. I'll click on open task guide. Here are the steps. I can go ahead and click on Start Task Guide if I wanted to show me how to do it. Here we go. Saying to go ahead and click on All Customers. Once the screen is loaded, it's telling me now to click on New. In the form, now I'm going to go ahead and select a value here that it's telling me to do. Select, select a customer group, and then I can click on save. So that's how it guides me step by step by showing me exactly what to do. Once again, it could be used for training, for business process documentation, but mainly used for user acceptance testing. I'll click on cancel here. Now I'm going to stop. I'll go back and I'm going to now show you how you can edit the recording if you wanted to. Once again, I click on open this from PC, browse, choose the same one again, click on start. Here are my steps right here 
and I can go ahead directly inside them and edit if I wanted to. Here's where I can put in more or new text if I wanted to. I can also add new steps if I wanted to right here as well. So I click on insert step and then the task recorder starts again. I can go ahead and actually do something here. So for example, this time I'll go ahead and say, check the delivery terms, choose something here. And now that has got added to my task recorder right here. One other thing to point out here in the task recorder, because it can be used for testing purposes, I could check for specific values. So for example, if I want this to always be net 30, I can right click here and in the recorder, I can say for the task recorder to validate the value to be, let's say the current value. And it's always going to validate that the terms of the payment are net 30. So these are the type of scenarios you can use for the task recorder in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Of course, one of the benefits of this task recorder is that it is free. It's provided by Microsoft. It is baked into the product, but it's only available for the Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations and no other tool. There are no plans currently for Microsoft to provide this anywhere else. It is pretty simple and rudimentary. You cannot do things like highlights, borders around different objects. You cannot embed media like video or images into the bubbles. And there's no official support from Microsoft. It's mostly community support that you'll get for this tool. Also for the users, they would have to pull in the actual file to be able to run a scenario unless you have the lifecycle services turned on. And that could be usually done for the user acceptance testing or unit testing.